Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In a previous episode, we had talked about how ammonia can be dangerous for fish and how we really need to keep that down to zero. The next water parameter we want to talk about is nitrite. And so in this nitrogen cycle, fish are producing ammonia as part of a waste product, usually due to breaking down proteins. After the ammonia accumulates, there will be bacteria that break the ammonia down, essentially use it as a food source, and convert that into something called nitrite. Now, the nitrite is also dangerous to our fish. It's going to reduce their ability to take in oxygen. In fact, the nitrite will bind to hemoglobin in red blood cells. And so what we have to do is make sure that we keep nitrite levels down, again, to zero, just like with ammonia. Now, if a tank has got high levels of nitrite, there's a very good chance Within the last couple of weeks, they've also, that tank has also experienced a high level of ammonia. And so the fish that are in that tank are probably struggling. They're probably uh, dealing with an ammonia spike that had happened. And now, a few weeks later, as another set of bacteria come in to try and break the nitrite down to nitrate, that's an additional problem. So the nitrite is also toxic. So what do we do about that? Well, thing number one, water changes. Again, anywhere from 30 to 50 percent water changes to reduce, to, basically to dilute the amount of nitrite that's in the tank. Again, you've got to be careful because if you've got sensitive fish that don't appreciate large water changes, that's something you have to keep in mind. Thing number two, just like with the ammonia video, use cycled filter media. So if you've got a used sponge filter or you've got a friend who's got some used filter floss that you could shove in the back of one of your hang on the back filters or your canister filter, that will take care of the nitrite very, very quickly. Next thing you can do is add salt. And again, you have to be very careful with the amount of salt that you add because if you've got live plants, you've got invertebrates, you've got some organisms in there that don't appreciate high salt concentrations, you could be doing more damage. But what the salt will do Unlike with the ammonia where the salt was really just helping the fish increase their mucosal layers, which it will do here as well, the salt will bind nitrite, preventing it from binding to your red blood, the fish's red blood cells, thereby increasing the amount of oxygen that your fish get. And this is what it really comes down to. Just like the ammonia prevented fish from getting oxygen, the nitrite does that as well. It just does it in a little bit of a different way. So you can add a little bit of salt, that will help. Adding used filter media, that is definitely going to help and will be the probably the quickest way to bring the nitrite levels down. And again, the water changes, if you can't do uh, the use filter media, will help dilute that until we get another group of bacteria that's going to basically use the nitrite as a food source and produce nitrate. All right, and again, just like the, the ammonia issue, you can reduce feeding, that's going to reduce the amount of ammonia that's going into the tank that's being converted into nitrite. You can reduce stocking levels and have less fish in there. Again, reducing the amount of bio load that's going on in the tank. I recognize for a lot of people that's going to be difficult to do if this is your first fish tank. So probably the best options are the use filter media, the water changes, and adding a little bit of salt into that tank. Uh, the amount of salt is going to depend upon the size of the tank. Again, the inhabitants that you have but that will help. Again, I like to start out on the lighter side, about one teaspoon per 10 gallons. That's not a lot, that's not a lot, but it should be enough to bind a lot of the nitrite. Just like we talked about with the ammonia video, you should definitely have some way to test water parameters, whether that is a liquid test kit or the test strips, uh, some way to test and make sure that you don't have problems with ammonia and nitrite. Uh, these are two very common water parameter issues that can cause fish death and ill health and lead to other opportunistic infections. So if you like this video, subscribe, thumbs up, share it. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.